Hi, seventh graders. Make sure you have your unit six note packet out and open up to 6.2 and find where we left off yesterday. Make sure you have a calculator out and a pencil ready to use. Mr. Rogers, here's a quote for you, says, there are three ways to ultimate success. The first way, to be kind. The second way, to be kind. The third way, to be kind. I think we can definitely say that the lesson here is that in order to reach success, we need to be kind. Today's goal with rates is I can understand rates and solve problems using unit rates. Again, this is just stepping back into where we left off yesterday. After today, we will be halfway through unit six. You know what that means? Our assessment on ratios and rates will be coming soon. Yes, there's going to be more that goes with this unit, but just a nice reminder that we will be halfway through this unit very soon. Find this problem in your notes. We're gonna answer which is the better buy. Whenever somebody says, what's the better buy, what's the better deal? They're looking for where the cost per item is the smallest. So looking at our two battery packs here, we have a 10 count and we have a 16 count. Let's find the unit cost for each package. Yes, they're two different companies, I get that. Right now, we're simply looking at the unit cost. What is the cost? per battery. So the Rayovac, we have a 10 count, and that is gonna cost you $5.97. Now, when we're dealing with rates, and we have money involved, where does the money go? On top, we talked about that yesterday. So let's set up our given rate. We know that it's $5.97 for 10 batteries. We wanna find what's the better buy, what's the best deal. We gotta find the unit cost, the cost per battery we're gonna set up an equivalent unit rate. Our job is to solve for the cost. So we're gonna divide by 10, and we're gonna take $5.97 and divide that by 10. Now, whenever we're dealing with money, money goes out to the hundredth place. So let's round to the nearest hundredths place. The hundredths place is two digits to the right of the decimal point. So you gotta look next to the hundredths place, look next door, oh, it's a seven, it's gonna bump that nine up one more, which is gonna bump the five up that's in the tens place one more. I'm looking at my calculator. It's about 60 cents per battery for the Rayovac. Let's do the same thing for the Duracell. Now you might go, Miss Glover, these packs are different. You got 10 count, 16, 16 count. It doesn't matter right now. We're just looking at how much does it cost per battery. So let's set up our given rate. Cost on top. $12.78 for 16 batteries. We want to know at that rate, what's the cost for one battery? There's our unit rate. It's going to help us with comparing. We're going to divide by 16. So go ahead in your calculator, type in $12.78 divided by 16. And let's round to the nearest hundredths place, which is going to make me bump what's in the tens place up one more as well. So it's about... 80 cents per battery. So where's the better buy? Would you rather pay 60 cents per battery or 80 cents per battery? Hey, might say, Ms. Kluver, I don't really care. I understand, but the concept right now is to just find the better deal where it costs less per item. And that would be the Rayovac batteries. So how do we compare rates? We can use a unit rate to help us do that. And we talked a little bit about that yesterday. Let's look at the next problem. Sam, Jenny, and Nate are all reading the same book for English class. Sam reads 172 pages in two hours. Jenny reads 45 pages in 30 minutes. Nate reads 132 pages in one and a half hours. Who reads the fastest? Or who reads at the fastest rate? What are we being asked to find in this problem? Who reads at the fastest rate? So I can answer that. Blank can read the fastest. Marking the text strategies. Let's go line by line, look for important numbers, key operation words, phrases. Sam, Jenny, and Nate are all reading the same book for English class. Nothing there, just an intro. Sam reads 172 pages in two hours. Now I know the question was asking me for the fastest rate. Rates I know are a relationship between two quantities that have different units. Pages and hours are being related there. They're important. So I'm gonna underline 172 pages in two hours. Jenny reads 45 pages in 30 minutes. Pages is being related to minutes. Nate reads 132 pages in one and a half hours. Pages is being related to hours. Who reads at the fastest? That's a comparing word. Rate. 
That's where I'm looking at the relationship between two values, and I've identified them above. Let's go ahead and let's write the Sam's reading rate. So Sam, it says, is 172 pages in two hours. Where does time go? On the bottom. Talked about that yesterday. Let's look at Jenny's reading rate. Jenny reads 45 pages in 30 minutes. Time goes on the bottom. And Nate is 132 pages in one and a half hours. Instead of putting a half in fraction form, I wrote it as a decimal. Now we need to determine who read the fastest. That means who read more pages per time, whether it's hours or minutes. So let's look at Sam. Let's figure out how many pages he read in one hour. Let's find the unit rate. So let's set that up and solve. I would take 172 and divide that by two. That's 86 pages for every one hour. Look at Jenny's. Hers is 54 pages for 30 minutes. Now, if we stay consistent and look at how many pages she read per hour, what's wrong with this picture? What's wrong with those two equivalent rates that I have set up? Yeah, minutes and hours, they're not the same unit. They both measure time, yes, but I need them to be an identical unit once they are placed across from each other in my equivalent rate setup. So that's where the issue is, minutes and hour. Let's go ahead and let's change minutes into hours. 30 minutes is what fraction of an hour? Half. I'm going to write that as a decimal. Now I have hours across from hours. So let's figure out how many pages Jenny read per hour. We would divide 45 by 0.5, same as a half. That's going to give me 90. 90 pages for every one hour. Let's figure out Nate's reading rate. How many pages does he read in one hour? Let's find the unit rate. We're going to be dividing by one and a half. So 132 divided by one and a half. How many pages is that? 88? Okay. Now I can compare Sam, Jenny, and Nate's reading rates. Who read the fastest? Meaning they read more pages per hour. Well, who has the bigger number of pages? Jenny does. So Jenny can read the fastest. Let's go to the next problem. Rick drove 135 miles in two and a half hours. Steve drove 186 miles in three hours. If they both drove for six hours, how much farther did Steve drive than Rick? What are we being asked to find here? How much farther did Steve drive than Rick? Let's answer that. Steve drove blank miles farther than Rick. Let's go line by line, look for some key operation words, phrases, important numbers. Rick drove 135 miles in two and a half hours. Miles and hours are being related to each other. I'm gonna underline them. Steve drove 186 miles in three hours. Miles and hours are being related again. If they both drove for six hours, that's gonna be important. How much farther did Steve drive than Rick? How much farther? That tells me that I'm gonna be subtracting. We need to start by figuring out how fast Rick is driving. Let's find his rate. It's 135 miles in two and a half hours. Hours refers to time, so it should go on the bottom of the rate. And we wanna label our rates because rates deal with different units. We want to figure out how fast he was driving per hour. So let's find the unit rate. We're going to divide by two and a half. So take 135 and divide it by two and a half. 54 miles. How far will Rick go in six hours? Remember, a rate is constant. So 54 miles for every hour. On the second hour, you would take 54 plus 54, or 54 times 2. On the third hour, you would take 54 times 3. So if we're figuring out on the sixth hour, we would take 54 times 6. Go ahead and do that. What do you get? 324. So he can travel 324 miles. Now let's do the exact same thing, but with Steve's information. How fast is Steve driving? Let's find his miles per hour. His rate in the problem is 186 miles in three hours. Let's find his unit rate. Miles per hour. 
We're going to divide by 3. Take 186, divide it by 3. 62 miles for every hour. How far will Steve go in 6 hours? Let's use multiplication to figure that out. 62 times 6. How many miles did Steve travel? 372. Are we done? No, it says how much farther did Steve drive than Rick? We need to figure out how many more miles Steve drove. How much farther? That's referring to subtraction. So let's take 372 minus 324. What's the difference there? 48. So Steve drove 48 miles farther than Rick. This was a multi-step problem and we used rates and unit rates to help us get to our final answer. Here's the last problem. What I'd like you to do is pause the video, you solve it, come back and check your work with mine. When I solved this problem, which was a multi-step problem, I found that Mr. LaPointe did eight sit-ups more than Mr. Westlow. If your answer does not agree with mine, pause this video, look over my work, and if you have any questions, make sure you ask. Some of you already have a summary written down in your notes. If you don't have a summary down in your notes, go ahead and write this. Rates compare quantities that have different units. A unit rate is a special rate with a denominator of one. Calculating and comparing using unit rates is helpful. I hope you have a great rest of your day.